This is my math lab response video by Raquel Gomez. I predict it will take the pendulum about 10 seconds to swing 10 times, an average of 5 seconds for the pendulum to swing once because I figured out it would be half the time of the pendulum swinging 10 times. First I had to make the pendulums. The picture on the left is the 10 centimeter pendulum and the one on the right is the 20 centimeter pendulum. The next step was to collect the results. To do this, one person in my group, which was my husband, swung the pendulum, while my sister controlled the stopwatch and I recorded the results. We tested the 10 centimeter pendulum five times to see how many seconds it takes to swing 10 times. Then I figured out the average to figure to figure out the average, I added the results together and divided by five since that was how many times we tested the pendulum. Then we tested the 10 centimeter pendulum five times to see how long it takes to swing once. Then I figured out the average just like I did with the first time. Then we tested the 20 centimeter pendulum. The results showed it took an average of 7.41 seconds to swing, the ten, to swing 10 times and an average of 1.1 seconds. 1.12 seconds, I'm sorry, to swing the pendulum once. When observing the results, I asked myself two questions. The first was, was my prediction correct? The answer to this is no. The second question was, how off was my prediction to the actual results? I was pretty off. My original guess was going to take 10 seconds to swing the pendulum 10 times, and it was actually 7.41. Then I guessed it would take 5 seconds for the pendulum to swing once. It actually took 1.12 seconds. In conclusion, my prediction was off for my results. However, I did learn pendulums move quicker than I had expected. If I had to do this again, I would make a better pendulum and record the results about 10 times instead of 5, so I can get a more accurate average.